Max Payne is a Steam video game featuring color sensational bleakness and fiery depressing moments and chilling bits of exploding Illuminati preferences and signs of global world domination. It's really a blooming field of dragging cutscenes of fluid animation at the time, with a comic book strip of zooming beauty lines with action oriented rock star gameplay. Cool weapons you gather an auxiliary squad of killing all the Mafia members and black cloaked Freemasons that scatter throughout the game with exterminating difficult chambers that make you want to rage and scroll in anger madness as you fever rush to the top to the stone tower building and fall off with ease. Love the level design they collected, but some levels can be repeated, but what makes this game really a stand up to the rest of the Rockstar Formula games is that the stages have different obstacles to make it fresher and stand out to be quite frantically impressive. This music is really well done and old classic suspense thrills to exotic emotion and tearing bloody gas fumes of wrecking your brain into a chart of murder recollections. The sound effects are bar zoning spot on and you can hear it from a mile away in a crafty experience. Take a directed note of Max Dillon with painful sequences and jarring slaughtery moments that can make your bone rumble into a deadly stylish way that most games nowadays can't even handle the atmosphere like Max Payne does. You want some humor coming out of Max's toasty mouth? You got it. You want anger and frustration? You got it. You just want to shoot an enemy of his ticking brain tracking down his emotion? You got it. This game really is a conductor of star studded effort. You can see what the developers are trying to make and give the player that plays the game what Max has to go through in this flagging moment of bizarre scenes of murder and rampage dripping down the least pages of written dialogue. The only thing I hate in misleading parts is the gameplay. It can be very frustrating, like it can go to overly extreme and a lot of magic bullet boundaries. Enemies can really soften up, then they can all be over the document place as you drive down your path to take them all out and you find out there's another enemy with a double barrel shotgun that shot you in an inanimate scent. The only complaint I have with this game, it's not a game that you can just finish it. It takes mysterious ways of being patient and knowing what's around the driven corner. Other than that, I can't explain more about this game. It's a must play for any PS2 or Steam owner that loves eyeshadow shady gameplay with a borderline twist. So I'll give it a fair rating. Since the difficulty made it get a lower score, I give this game a 9.6 slash 10. It's something you have to play and experience for yourself, but if you don't like darkness and satanic stuff in the game that makes you see the reflection, what Max sees, I suggest you play Grand Theft Auto instead, because it's a game that takes a lot of flawless complexion and calculation to understand what Rockstar was going for, and the developer team originally loved. This is a clearing a one-time masterpiece that cannot be remade. Love the Burrito Master.